they knew we were getting salmon, yeah. So, but they didn't know what they would look like. They didn't know what 100 salmon, we were told 100 salmon eggs were coming, but we didn't know what that meant, 100 salmon eggs. I knew that I had to start somewhere. And, but there were so many places to start. I could start with a picture book. I could start with a nonfiction book. I could start with like indigenous stories because there's so many um, that have to do with salmon. And the winter is the time that we're told to, that we can share stories. Then I realized, without realizing that I had to set up the tank because I had to be running for a little while. And just by setting up the tank, the kids were getting interested and they were starting to question and ask questions about what certain parts of the tank did. I'm curious to know what might be some other questions that you have or some wonders you've been having, having since you've known that the tank, uh, the tank, the salmon are going to arrive in our classroom. What's that plastic thingy on the side? I'm going to point. Is it this? Yes. You're wondering what this is? The okay. Filter. So that is called a filter, yes, but maybe we could find out more about this. So what is the filter? When we release the salmon, how big are they going to be? What is the um, circle -y thing, uh, the black thing? What type of water do salmon live in? Um, how long do salmon live? Where are we going to release the salmon? Why is the water so cold? What month are we going to release them? Why do we need all this stuff if they don't have an actual river? Where are they they have a lot of questions about this tank and like that was sort of leading up to that moment. That's all they asked me about, where all these components of the tank. Then they jumped to the release and they were wondering about, oh, when do we get to go put the salmon in the wall? But where was that depth in our thinking where we could really go and find information, have to hunt and things like that? That sort of wasn't coming up yet and part of it could be because I didn't present an opportunity for that yet because maybe I should have started with a book or a nonfiction. like I could do a lot of what ifs but the other part is they were so blocked by wanting to know what all of these parts did because that was the here and now that's what they could see that that's all they could focus on. What sorts of things do I tell the kids and what sorts of things am I gonna let them explore and I was really struggling with that. You could always go back uh, to it and add a little bit more, but you can never take it away, right? So you don't want to give too much right at the beginning because you're guiding more of their thinking than just letting them wonder, right? So I've already been trying like these little provocations of what can I do to get the kids excited about, well, they're excited, but to get them thinking deeply. So move beyond the excitement and start becoming like mini researchers, right?